ए हाय हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो दिस संपत यू वाचिंग संपत साइफेक्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज पोको एक्स थ्री कस्टम रोम रिल्स बैक विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस इज बनाना ड्रॉइड एज यू कैन सी गेस लेटेस्ट वर्जन अवेलेबल फॉर पोको एक्स थ्री स्लैश एन एफ सी एंड्रॉइड वर्जन इज फोर्टीन हेयर यू गेस कैन सी द इसग हेयर सिक्योरिटी पैच इज ऑल्सो लेटेस्ट हेयर फिफ्थ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर कर्नल यूज हेयर इज फोर पॉइंट वन फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू एट लिनेज कर्नल हेज बिन बिल्ड नंबर यू कैन सी सिलिंग स्टेटस इज एनफोर्सिंग This is the latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC here. This is the quick settings toggle you guys can see in the particular page here, and this is the app active status we get. Let me decrease little bit of brightness here. Yeah, now you guys can see here. This is how the typical home screen you get, and this is the quick settings toggles you get in the edit section. You get plenty of options here. As you can see, there are plenty of options are given here. Uh, but there is no uh, this one sync option. Yeah, it's there here. This is the quick settings toggle, and this is typical home screen you get. Uh, press and hold here to get wallpaper sound style. Again, lock screen customization. This is the new style Android 14. This is the first build of Banana Android, I think so. Uh, getting with Android 14, and this lock screen customization are available. You can even make monochrome also here. It takes a little bit of time actually. Yeah, and clock and color size you can adjust as you can see. dynamic and small color again you can adjust the intensity of the uh, color you have chosen shortcut show notification on the lock screen and more lock screen options as you can see you get your dynamic clock option ambient display is turned on actually and that's working fine here and home screen if i going to change wallpapers there are some banana collections as you can see you can actually utilize those pre installed wallpapers and even unsplash and this uh, Installed wallpaper here. This is home screen settings and home settings here. You can actually change the icon pack and you need to enable the permission here in order to get the notification dots. Just enable this and give it allow permission. Then this notification dots going to work. Icon size you can actually increase or decrease from here. Even font size and max length lines for app label also you can customize from here in the miscellaneous settings. Is you also get that use taskbar option and allow home screen rotation and hidden and protected apps. You can actually make them out using fingerprint and face unlock app drawer settings. As you can see, themed icons you can actually make it out. But once you need to enable that in the wallpaper some style, go to here and select here themed icons. Yeah, for some reason that's not working. Maybe anyhow. Even in the home screen, we'll do that if it is available. No, yeah, it's available now. Google search bar is there. Corner redis and even music search also you can add add in the home screen here. It getting rebooted, but for some reason it's not working here. I'll turn this off both in the uh, app drawer here. Where are the theme icons? I'll turn it off, and even the home screen I'll turn this theme icons. It's not working here for some reason. If you know how to Make it less them. Let me know in the comment section, guys. And there is even in the app drawer there is monochrome themed icons. Let's check that at least. No, that's also not working here. Only settings panel is monochrome there. Maybe they are working it for this version. It's not been enabled as of now, but in the upcoming builds they might enable that. Anyhow, this is how the banana launcher what we get, and this is the app. See. I actually tried to reboot once, but still the app drawer is remained same here without name labels. Uh, there are some bugs here, peculiar bugs regarding home screen customization in Banana Home Launcher here. But if you use any third party launcher, this will be not going to there here. But anyhow, this is the bugs what I have noticed as of now. And DRM information again, level one certified. You can see the app opening time here. Level one certified. You can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution. Let me show some of the results here. As you can see, internet speed test. I have actually 200 Mbps connection. The Wi-Fi here. I am getting around 250 Mbps, and this is read write speed, sequential read write with numericals and with graph here. And this is the safety status. Again, CTS profile match getting filled. I think they are testing this. This is maybe a beta build of the banana drive. I can say 751 is a single score and 1851 is the multi score. And Linux 4.14.328 lineage OS kernel has been used in this particular ROM. And this is Geekbench 6 results here. And this is the device result. Anyhow, uh, as of now, I can say it's not completely uh, okay here. 
BGM is also available. Let's see into the settings banana gear status bar again. Status bar icons you can enable or disable some of the options in the status bar actually. Logo again, there is a logo you guys can see. You can even position them and logo style. There are plenty here. Anyhow, we don't going to use that much. Let me in the comment section color icons is there, show notification count is there, traffic monitor is there, 4G icon, Wi Fi standard, and clock, other styles, battery styles you can adjust, adjust from here. Battery bar is also available. Once you are unable, you get plenty of options. Again, thickness you can adjust, alignment you can make it center, reversed, and regular. Again, there are some reverse color direction as you can see blend colors, colors, low battery color, charging animation, charging color custom charging color also given here there are plenty actually regarding battery bar if you are that kind of person who are looking for very good customization in terms of battery bar then this is the rom for you and quick settings again battery style again there are some customization here to give a style style you get squarical circle and square here circle and square styles are also given here qs panel style again this are similar to cherish and evolution x here hide label option is there label text size you can adjust from here it's currently value 14 you can even play around them vertical layout columns and again things you can see here you can even position the brightness slider in the qs panel these are the customization in qs buttons and navigation again there are some customization here too notifications there are some huge uh, customizations yeah island notification is also there in the lock screen again it remains similar in media cover art filter is also given from here weather settings uh, miscellaneous you get unlock high fps count in bgma kind of games are present here i am not going to test anyhow because it's not completely uh, done at the rom maybe in the next upcoming build we can test the bgma gameplay i have downloaded but no need of testing that because cts profile getting failed here and ui style again you can change from here font size and other customizations are available here regarding themes again ui style monet engine other things you can do from here moving into actual settings here battery you guys can see battery usage hasn't recorded it oh this is the apps what i'm using now battery saver is given extreme battery saver is not given anyhow and charging control battery optimization battery widget that's an under 14 uh, styles case that's present here uh, sound and vibration again it remains very similar to Android 13 here nothing changed uh, vibration patterns are included here if you want to use them you can utilize them you can even customize them manually uh, show panel on left the volume panel you can do that no that's not working here for some reason there is everything is not working here as you can see let me unlock that yeah volume panel is still on the right for some reason then customizations are simply not gonna work in this particular room uh, display size and text and colors keep it to boost it yeah refresh rate options are also missing in this particular room tap to sleep and wake are there there is no refresh rate option here and this remains same here security options you get face fingerprint unlock here app lock i doubt it is having let's check that yeah app lock is also present but most of the features are not working this is the fingerprint unlock speed here for some reason even that is also not working now yeah it's working right now and face unlock let's check that yeah it's also quite fast to unlock your smartphone using face unlock also as you can see yeah and moving to dialer here you get uh, typical dialer here nothing fancy you can directly make the video call from here and let's check that also uh, that call recording feature yes it's there but it will announce that other person that you are recording the call that's it guys in this video i have explained each and everything neatly regarding this banana droid os i think you need to wait for one more build of this particular rom then you can use it as a daily driver as of now you can definitely test it out i am not saying you should not use that uh, but definitely it's not completely built the customizations are simply not working here and cts profile match basic integrity it getting filled here as you can see cts profile match is getting filled here uh, those are the shortcomings of this rom maybe this is a beta unofficial build uh, very soon we will get one more update there they can fix this uh, issues what are spoken we'll meet with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now